Good evening, I'm Shogun Muhammad and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE's Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum attended today the 160 km long endurance race of His Majesty the King's Cup which was organized by the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation in Bahrain Endurance Village with a number of Bahraini and UAE participants. His Majesty the King and the UAE's Vice President were received and welcomed by the Commander of the National Guard, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of the Royal Union Board of Directors members. They expressed appreciation for the kind patronage of His Majesty the King and UAE's Vice President, which reflects their support for the participants and for the sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser presented His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum a summary of the stages of the race and the number of knights participating in it, as well as the efforts and preparations made by the Royal Equestrian Federation. His Majesty the King and UAE's Vice President exchanged talks with the participants and wished them success in the race. His Majesty the King met with UAE's ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and exchanged talks regarding the distinguished relations between the two countries. Also, the official sponsors had the honor of greeting His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King congratulated the winners of the race, noting their advanced skills which qualified them for this victory and stressed the importance of organizing such races which contribute to increase the efficiency of the Knights and their readiness to participate in various regional and international competitions. His Majesty praised the successful efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa in developing the endurance racing sport as an authentic Arab sport and in encouraging young Bahrainis to participate in such races. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum for his visit, affirming that the participation of Emirati equestrians in the race reflects the strength of the brotherly relations between the two countries. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation board members in organizing the race to help achieve its goals, asserting his continuous support for the sport. His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty the King's warm welcome and hospitality, praising the role His Highness Sheikh Nasser's and his efforts in developing the Bahraini endurance sport. At the end of the race, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa awarded the winners of the first three places.
نوقف هذه اللحظات مع تفاصيلها فمباشرة إلى مراسم التتويج المركز الثاني الفارس سالم حمد سعيد الكتبي His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sikhir Palace today the UAE's Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Royal Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. During the meeting, they exchanged cordial talks on the close and historical ties between the two countries. His Majesty the King expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, for attending the endurance race, which confirms his keenness on this Arab sport. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome, praising the role of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its interest in the endurance race, wishing Bahrain continued progress and success. Later, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum left Bahrain. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa crowned victorious team rider of the Royal Stables, Silcia Garcia of Uruguay, with the King's Cup title winner for a distance of 160 kilometers, with the participation of a group of riders from the Royal and local stables and riders from the United Arab Emirates. Second place was UAE rider Salim Al Kitbi from M7 Stable, and rider Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa from Victoria's team was placed third. 
His Highness presented the achievements of the victorious team to His Majesty the King, stressing that in the era of His Majesty, many achievements have been made thanks to the great support and the continuous attention of His Majesty to Bahraini sport in general and endurance sports in particular. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated the winners, praising the progress they made during the race and the outstanding level presented by all the riders. He stressed that the race witnessed a high level in its five stages. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his gratitude to His Majesty the King for his generous sponsorship of the endurance race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the participation of the UAE riders and their outstanding performance and their keenness to compete for the title of the race. For his part, the President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation and Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, expressed his happiness for the great success and excellence witnessed by the King's Cup. He expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continuous and strong support for the Bahrain endurance race, affirming that His Majesty the King's keenness to continue the race is a tribute to all riders. The UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum arrived in Bahrain where His Highness was welcomed by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed the importance of the participation of UAE riders in the King's Endurance Cup, which will give the race an additional exciting competition at all stages. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed the competition of the preparations for the start of the most important races in Bahrain's endurance season and the actions taken by the Royal Equestrian and Horse Racing Federation. His Highness also underlined the distinguished relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UAE in all fields, noting that Bahrain welcomes the participation of UAE riders, which stresses the keenness to ensure the success of the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum witnessed the veterinary examination and met with a number of riders and urged them to achieve outstanding results in the race. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and Deputy Chairman of the Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club yesterday held the 18th race meeting of the season at the race course at Isqir. It was held for the Cups of Bank of Bahrain and Kuwait, Benegas, the Royal Golf Club, and the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. 
Also present at the race were Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Muhammad bin Salman al-Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Muhammad bin Rashid bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Muhammad bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa al-Khalifa, Sheikh Nadir bin Muhammad bin Salman al-Khalifa, as well as horse racing fans. At the end of the race, trophies were presented to the winners. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the 46th session of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the Organization of the Islamic Conference, which began today in Abu Dhabi. Under the theme 50 Years of Islamic Cooperation, the Roadmap for Prosperity and Development, the Foreign Minister expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the UAE for hosting the session, which reflects its unremitting efforts in serving Islamic issues, activating and enhancing the role of the IOC in establishing security and peace, and addressing the various challenges facing the Islamic countries in support of development and prosperity. The session discusses a number of political, social and economic issues, including ways to strengthen peace and security, counter terrorism and extremism, develop economic coordination and joint cooperation among member states. On the sidelines of the OIC session, the Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Indian External Affairs Minister, Sushma Swaraj. 
during the meeting the foreign minister affirmed the depth of the historical relations between Bahrain and India which is witnessing continuous progress he said that Bahrain is looking to develop relations and promote various aspects of mutual cooperation in a way that supports the interests of the two countries and friendly peoples, the most important of which is combating all forms of extremism and terrorism. For her part, the Indian minister underlined the strong friendship relations with Bahrain and its continuous efforts to develop areas of cooperation at various levels. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with his Bosnian counterpart, Igor Karnadak. The Foreign Minister expressed Bahrain's keenness to develop bilateral relations with Bosnia and Herzegovina on all, all levels, noting the keen desire on joint coordination for the benefit of both countries. The Bosnian Foreign Minister appreciated the positions of Bahrain and its keenness to deepen bilateral relations in various fields. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa also met with Ambassador Patrick Hennessy, the special envoy of the government of Ireland. The foreign minister expressed his satisfaction at the progressing relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Ireland in various levels for the benefit of the two friendly countries and peoples. For his part, Ambassador Patrick Hennessy praised the great efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain to promote security, peace, and development at the regional and international levels, wishing Bahrain continued progress and prosperity. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kyrgyz Republic, Adar Bekov Azamatovic. The Minister of Foreign Affairs highlighted the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to develop bilateral cooperation and benefit from all possibilities and opportunities for upgrading the fields of mutual cooperation in a way that supports the interests of the two countries and the two friendly peoples. The Kyrgyz foreign minister stressed his country's interest in developing relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain at all levels and increasing mutual coordination on various issues.